Hi, I'm Raf, and in today's video, we'll be solving the path payments quest of level one. In this quest, you're gonna to have to create a path payment from the quest account, send an asset, and receive a different asset in another account. On the page, on the Stellar Lab side, we're gonna go and fund our account. And copy it as our quest wallet here. Boom, boom. All right. Now, where this is where the fun begins. We're gonna need three more wallets. Um, so let's go generate a key pair. Let's generate a public key. And fund it. Grab the secret key. There you go. Uh, let's try a new one. Grab our public key. And our, let's go fund it. Grab our secret key. And one more time, we're gonna grab our public key and our secret key boom all right so um, this wallet is going to send XLM this wallet is going to receive another token we're going to call it the raft token now we got to go and make a token so we need an issuer and we need a distributor the issuer makes the token, the distributor trusts this token, and it's going to send it out. You shouldn't have an issuer issue a token to itself. Therefore, that's where the distributor account comes from. All right, let's go and build our first transaction here. The first thing we need to do is the distributor, the distribution account needs to trust the future issuing account. So let's go grab our distributor, grab our public account, our public key, our distributor, Grab our next sequence number, and um, we are uh, trusting this future asset called RAF that's going to come from this issuer. Bam. Okay, and let's go and sign this transaction. And we need to, with the distributor account, use a secret key and sign it say that we have the rights to trust this asset. All right, submit it and submit it to the network. Perfect. Let's go and now create our, our asset. So I'm gonna go into my second wallet, which is my issuer. Let's go copy that public key. Let's go grab our next sequence number. And here, uh, let's go and pay our distributor a token that doesn't exist yet, but it trusts. So we're gonna go grab our distributor public key, pop it in destination, and that is the asset that it already trusts, which is RAF, and the issuing account is ourselves. And we are going to ask you, uh, issue 10,000 RAF, and then let's go and sign this. This has to be our issuer secret. We have the rights to pay this token. There you go. And sign it and submit. Boom. So if we go look on the Explorer, this distribution account, we should see 10,000 RAF. Perfect. Okay. So now we need to, the distribution wallet needs to put a sell order for that asset. So let's go and grab our distributor public key, fetch our next sequence number, and we're gonna make a sell order. We are selling RAF, and it was from this issuer. And we are buying some native tokens. We're selling 10,000 of it, um, a one per RAF. So one excellent per RAF. It's a new order, so we're just gonna put a zero. Let's go sign this transaction. This is our distributor, distributor account, so let's go copy the secret key. 
and let's go sign it. And there we go. Okay, so now there's a sell order on the books. Uh, okay, so now we're going to be sending XLM from the sending account. Oh, we need to do something first. The receiving account that's going to receive RAF needs to trust RAF. So let's go and put our public key for this. Let's grab our next sequence number. And let's go and establish trust with this RAF asset. So I'm putting in the asset is RAF. The issuer is this one. Let's go sign this transaction. And we need to do this with the receiving secret key. Boom. All right, let's try that. Okay. Uh, all the swap tools on, um, you know, different DEXs that we have on Stellar are usually the same account. So you usually have the sending and receiving as the same one. Uh, this is kind of a weird example because we're creating trust from a separate uh, a wallet. Um, okay, so we've created trust. So now let's go and send our path payment. So it's coming from request wallet. And let's go grab the next sequence. And we are sending a path payment. And we are sending it to this last wallet here. And we are sending native, we're sending up to uh, 1000 XLM and they are going to receive some RAF tokens. And that's going to need to put in my issuer here. Uh, destination, minimum destination amount. Um, I should be able to put anything. Uh, let's put one, minimum one. And uh, let's go and sign this transaction. So I'm going to send XLM. Sorry, I'm sending XLM and they're receiving RAF. Um, and that's the purpose of a path payment. It does, it converts automatically for us, and then we can set what's the accepted rate. Um, and then depending on what's available in the order book, it will either grab a good rate or a bad rate, uh, just dependent on what we said is acceptable and what's available. All right, let's sign in Transaction Signer. Oh, did I put in my secret key here? Sorry. All right, let's go and put our secret key from our Quest account. There you go, and submit it to the network. Does it work? Come on. Yeah, woo! Okay, you don't know how many times I've done this. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go and uh, copy this uh, public key here. Uh, actually, we can just grab, grab this one, it'll be easier. And we should see in this account some RAF, a thousand RAF, because that's the available order that was there. Boom. Well, I hope that helped. This one's, again, this one's pretty complicated. It's combining a lot of different concepts. Um, and obviously we're looking now at issuers and distributor accounts. So yeah, this one's solved. Congratulations. <laughs>